Hey everyone, um, you can uh, see I'm driving the Visa GTI. First trip out since Anglesey. Really important, I think, to uh, use a car, your old classic cars in the winter. I know some of them get put away, but I think better to use them. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit of a damp day, but it's not wet. I wouldn't be out in this if it was really wet. But I'll give you the, the truth here. Uh, we're in it because my, uh, I forgot to charge my electric car last night, which means I've only got enough charge to do one run in it today. So I've had to bring out the uh, classic. Would I have driven it otherwise? Mm, don't know, maybe. It was in my mind to move the cars about today. And the reason for that is because tomorrow, hopefully, the RS Turbo is having its clutch done and possibly even the front wheel bearing that now needs to. That should then make that car a very nice, usable car. A um, few other jobs to do on it still, but we're getting very near on that once the clutch is done. Um, unfortunately, it's been put off a couple of times uh, and it is booked in with a garage for the 16th if it's not done tomorrow. So we'll see. So I've got two options on it now, so it is going to get done. It's not a lack of funds, I can tell you that. So that's the Escort RS update. Um, I spent the weekend, uh, part of the weekend in hospital because uh, of this bloody cold that upset my uh, body somewhat because of my breathing problems that you hear on the video sometimes and other things. So yeah, so that wasn't great. Um, but we're out in the Visa for the first time. It feels lovely to get in this, you know. Every time I get in it, it just smiles. It's a wonderful little thing. Wonderful little thing. Anyway, I was thinking about, you know how you review like your, your music on Spotify for the year? What was on yours? Uh, bit of Sabrina Carpenter on mine. I've got that on. It's my guilty pleasure, I'm afraid. Um, but I've got some cool stuff as well, like Louis Dunford. Um, anyway, so trekking along at the minute to uh, old Siren Sester in the visa. And uh, as you can tell, she's running quite nice. Um, but thinking back to last year, what were your favourite car shows and events? Um, some of the small ones always do it for me, like the friend Chris's one at Thatcham, um, the little local meets in Highworth that they do in Swindon. Um, and then when I go to the bigger events, do you know what? I think Bista wins everything for me. Vista Heritage. Now, yeah, I know my car was mentioned in the last one, but it's just always really nice atmosphere, really good there. I really like Vista Heritage for events. Uh, I'm trying to think what other ones that I went to that I really enjoyed. I love the drive to Anglesey, obviously, that we, me and five others did for our little group. That was great. That definitely was the, the best highlight of the year. Uh, but uh, moving forward for next year, we've got some exciting shows uh, that we're going to, uh, that I'll be uh, posting content on. I'll uh, give you a list of some of these. Uh, there's Auto Sport International at the NEC. Um, if I can, I'll go to that in the RS Turbo. Um, what else have we got? We've got, might do Race Retro um, in February. At Stoneleigh Park. Um, this weekend, actually, I'm going to a military uh, museum, uh, which, if they allow me to do any filming, I'll give you some uh, footage of that one as well. And if the, the escort's been done tomorrow, I'll probably go in that. So that'll be like a great video, won't it? I'll see that. Um, yeah, so. Um, Loads of other events I'm signed up for, including F1 and Silverstone um, and other stuff. But loads of things coming for next year, including more new cars. So the plan with the Escort RS will be to uh, probably move that on come about May, June time. Uh, may go a month or two later, but I'm hoping May, June time. 
Uh, the other thing that I've decided to do, and tell me what you think of this, is I'm going to do a trip to uh, Nürburgring in Germany. Uh, I've decided to do that and take the RS for that. I think that would be a really cool way to say goodbye to that car. Um, not flat out, if in doubt flat out. No, not in the RS Turbo, but a good run on the track anyway. Um, be interested to see how it behaves on the track like that. Um, so yeah, so that's one of my plans for this year. Uh, let me know your plans. Hope you have a good festive period and uh, hopefully this weekend I can give you an update that's all great news on the RS and it will have gone forward leaps and bounds and it can be used even as a daily if I want to which was sort of my thinking for a bit just to enjoy it for six months and then I'm thinking maybe Porsche 944, 928, maybe Jaguar XJS, maybe something like that but we'll see, we'll see what um, what's available at the time, what looks uh, reasonable by and what they, it needs doing to it and then we'll have a stab at something else new on the list. Maybe it'll be a Ford Capri 2.8i. There's loads and loads that I'm thinking of uh, getting after the RS. Um, if you've got any suggestions that you think, oh you really need to have this car in your, your list of must own before you die, so let me know what it is and I'll see if I can do it. Anyway, cheers for now. Catch up with you all soon.